Hello and welcome on my channel. I'm Marcel. This is I'm Hendrik. Hendrik, and he is a OG Fallout cosplayer. Yeah, Fallout cosplayer. Fallout NCR. Ranger. NCR Ranger. Yeah. yeah. And today from New California. Yeah. Today we're gonna talk about your costume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk about like uh, your helmet, the the guns, and your armor. Yeah. All and those stuff. props. Because yeah. a lot of people ask me how make them. Mm. Do they cost much? And now you're gonna explain a little bit. How they could start, maybe even. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. So in the previous not? video, you were also uh, talking about how you made the helmet and how many hours you spend in the helmet. And yeah, we can just dive in and start with uh, the helmet. I think in the last video, yeah, the you said itself. it took. Uh, you said. 40 hours. Yeah, run about 80 hours in total with yeah. uh, the editing, mm. um, with the editing of the 3D model, and mm. another 40 hours with the uh, 3D printing. I took uh, screenshots from every angle in game, mm -hmm. so I had a 2D image. I had like uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 screenshots and had to process them and measure all those details. Mm. Um, I did it with a program. Then I transferred them to Autodesk um, pro and made a 3D model out mm. of those 2D screenshots. Mm. It was quite hard, took like 40 hours. And then you, you just had the 3D model? Yeah, I had the 3D model. I had to optimize it mm. to make it uh, print ready. Yeah. And then it took uh, like 40 hours to print mm. because I had to print it in different sections. My printer is not that big. Mm. And so you couldn't like print the whole helmet? No, of course it? not. Mm. Um, there would be a lot of infill in, in, in the helmet because yeah. you, you can't print a helmet like this. I made all the sections and laid them on the uh, printing bed mm. like in a very efficient and practical way. So Okay, and then so you just was... stick them together? Yeah, yeah, I just glued them together. Mm. Yeah, the helmet was... Uh, yeah, finished. So mm. the helmet itself. Yeah. So it was so, raw, so to say. Yeah, so raw, yeah. Mm. And then I had to start uh, sanding it and this is so exhaustful. What is what is sanding? Sanding with the sandpaper. Sandpaper, yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah, sandpaper okay. and, and with a sanding machine. Mm. Ah, because there's um, like yeah, small yeah, hairs there's and all stuff. All those, you have these printing layers. Mm. They, they give the helmet this rough layer mm. and I had to send them a bit uh, down mm. so they were flush with uh, the other sections yeah. and it looked like more a bit more <laughs> complete yeah, yeah. I see. so and then i took body filler mm -hmm. people at the uh, body shop where they repair cars they use that too mm -hmm. and i filled all those gaps i smoothed it out yeah and to be honest it doesn't have to look perfect especially on these props where the props uh, have to look very used yeah. and all uh, have all those battle scars mm -hmm. and i want to achieve this uh, Casted iron look, so I did. I didn't want it to make a very smooth surface, mm -hmm. yeah, very smooth and plain surface. I didn't want it to do that. And then came the primer, yeah, primer, high build mm. primer coat. It's also used in the uh, in the at the body shop mm -hmm. where they repair cars. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the primer gives is a great surface for painting, pretty practical. Mm -hmm. And then I painted above it. It's fairly simple. Here is a video with um, yeah with him in action outside. We shot this yeah. uh, two years ago. Have fun, and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.